Hello there, my stamping friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com. I gotta grab my chair. <laughs> hello, hello. I think a lot of us are working from home these days, so I decided to do a second Facebook Live for you guys this week. And um, it is Thursday. I'm always Tuesday at 2, so I decided to do a Thursday at 2. And um, I've got to go quick today. So I've got one hour, which I usually don't even go a full hour with you guys. But um, partly because my attention span is not quite that long. But um, I've got something else going at 3 o'clock, so I'm going to need to get on here, go quickly, and move forward. i got some really fun stamping for you today. I think that you're going to enjoy stamping with me and seeing the possibilities of what you can do at home to make quick and easy cards to send out during our pandemic. So I think that right now more than ever, sending somebody a handmade card really means something. And um, just to let people know that you're thinking about them, that um, even though you can't contact them in person and you can't connect with them in person, you can connect with them in a meaningful way. And although we do have, um, you know, we thank God for all of our technology and all the fun things that we can do with that, um, it is so much more meaningful and um, also lasting. You know, when you send something in the mail, I sent some cards to my grandkids the other day, and, um, you know, they can, they can display those cards in their room. They can put them on their computers. A lot of kids are working, for, well, all the kids are pretty much working from home with their schoolwork. So let's give our grandkids, let's give our nieces and nephews, let's give our friends and family something that they can look at over and over again when they have their computer screens turned off, when they're not in front of the TV, when they don't have their phone but something that is meaningful and will last. And even, you know, as it um, makes a little bit of a record, you know, we're going to look back on all of this at some point, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. But we're going to look back at all of this, and um, I think we're going to want to have recorded some memories of what did you do during this time when the whole world was upside down? How did you spend your time? When the world was kind of at a standstill, what did you do with your time? Well, part of what I'm gonna do with my time is I'm gonna make um, some meaningful cards and I'm going to put a little note in there. Um, it doesn't have to be something long, um, just I'm thinking about you, I miss seeing you, I hope you're well, I hope you're staying safe and healthy. So just a recap from, hey Elda, I'm glad you're here. Just a recap from Tuesday, and that is that these paper pumpkin kit refill kits are still available in my online store, which is candystamps.stampinup.net, and I will give you, um, actually, this is probably going to be backwards. I'll, I'll have this for you when I turn the uh, camera down to stamp, but these refill kits are still available, $10. They're an absolute steal in my view. And um, you get everything in there to make 12 cards. Now, the stamps are not in there, um, but there are all of the die cuts are in there, and there's a little tag where you can make a stamp, a, a little greeting for each card. And if you have some stamps on hand from a previous paper pumpkin kit or from another class that you've been taking, then you could definitely use that. If you don't even own a stamp, hi, Kathy. If you don't even own a stamp, if you're sending that little packet to your grandkids or something, and maybe they don't have a stamp, you know, you could always just hand write a message on there, but they're adorable, adorable kits. So these are just $10 right now, and uh, they are while supplies last, so I would strongly encourage you to get these. A lot of us are making lots of quick and easy cards so we can send them out. I know, um, thankfully, my husband was willing to go to the post office for me today. I think I sent out about 30 cards yesterday and I'm starting to get a little bit low. Hi, Gerilyn. So I wanted to get um, those things in the mail. Um, I've got another whole basket of cards that I'm working on, putting a little handwritten message inside so that I can send some well wishes to people, some uh, handmade thoughts to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera down 
and see where we go with some fun stamping projects today. Okay, hold steady here. Okay, oh, you got my computer. Um, let's see, I think. Gerilyn, how are you doing? It's so nice to see you on here. Um, so here is my, there's my online store, candystamps.stampinup.net. There's my host code. You don't have to have a host code when you order. But if you have an order that's under $150, I will send you a gift when you use that code. If your order is over $150, you're already going to earn free gifts with Stampin' Up. So there's your item numbers. There's the, the one I was just showing you, the No Matter the Weather Refill Kit. There's a, another really nice kit that's $19. It's a full kit. So it, it also makes 12 cards, but it does have a stamp set with it and um, an ink spot and, you know, it has those extra bits. And then there is the number if you were interested in getting a three-month subscription for Paper Pumpkin so that you can start doing those when, well, it would start next month and hopefully all this will be over by then. But we don't know how things are going to go. Um, one more thing. Well, two more things I'll show you, and then I'm going to stamp with you. Um, yeah, month and a half furlough, Gerilyn. Well, I'm glad it's a furlough. I'm glad that um, they're able to keep you on because there's a lot of people losing jobs right now. I'm so grateful for the people who are able to maintain their jobs in whatever uh, form that is. So this is the paper I was showing you a little bit um, Tuesday, and this is a pre-release, early release. This will be in our new catalog that comes out in June. It will be available starting April 1st for customers. This is a specialty paper, so it has quite a few of the pieces have this gold foiling. So this is just a little um, sampler that shows you um, what each piece looks like front and back. Hey, Gail, I'm glad you're here. So, uh, and these are the cardstock colors that are featured in here. Now, there is one cardstock color that we don't have in here yet, and that's because there's a new, one of our new end colors is here, and it's called Honey Bee. It is a yellow, and um, but we don't have the cardstock yet, so it will be in here eventually. But that is available um, beginning April 1st. If you wanted to get this now, you could actually put it in a starter kit order. So this is available for demonstrators only, and that is brand new demonstrators as well as those of us who have been, who are already active. So that is, um, that is something I had shown you a little bit on Tuesday. And then I don't even have the button open for it yet, but I did want to show you another card class I've got. And so this is um, a $25 class, and you get everything you need to make two each of three different designs. Now, having said that, I did do just a little difference on each one. So I did this as a sympathy card, and I did this one as... Uh, kind of an encouragement card. This would be a great card to send out right now in the pandemic. Um, and then I did two different versions of this Easter card. And um, you can either use, you know, you can use as many tulips as you want. This is that super fun paper that, um, that we're using. And you just punch these out. Now, I would have these punched for you, and that would be in your kit. And then this design is all stamped, and this is using the Timeless Tulips. And again, I did the same card and just flipped it um, for two different ways. Hey, Adriana, I'm glad you're here. So this card, uh, this class, hey, Shannon, will be coming up for, I'll have a button for you later today. So this is a $25 class, and it gives you everything you need for these six cards. It also includes a pack of rhinestones, and I think it includes a half, yeah, it includes a half a pack of this paper. So um, this paper is only available till the end of the month. So that is, uh, that is coming your way. Now let me show you where we're gonna go today because I am just in love with this paper and I've been featuring it kind of the last couple of Facebook Lives. This is a paper that is 12 by 12 and it is foiled with copper and silver. Some designs have just the silver, some have just the copper, and some have a mixture of both. This is a free item that you can earn with a $50 order right now. You get, um, you get three sheets of each design for a total of 12 sheets. 
I think it's an incredible value and so incredibly versatile. So I thought that what we would do today is we would celebrate our outgoing in colors. And so if you're unfamiliar with our in colors, what they are is a set of five colors that comes out each year and they have a two year shelf life. Sorry, I've got to get a little bit of a drink because um, I'm yak yakking so much. Um, they have a two year shelf life. And um, what that means is that we get to play with them for two full years. And then they go away and we get another set of five. And what that does is it freshens things up for you. So this is the pineapple punch. And you can see where I've taken the foil and I've transformed it with the ink. And then I've done, let's see the order I'm going in here. I'm still attaching bows. Um, then one of our other end colors that is going to be leaving us is called Grapefruit Grove. I am a big fan of greens and yellow, uh, sorry, oranges and yellows. So these were kind of my top faves on these colors. But I will tell you that um, Lovely Lipstick really, really grew on me. Um, so here is... Blueberry Bushel is the next one I'm going to show you. And I do love this color because it's a really clear blue. It's very, um, it's not yellowy and it's not um, pinky, uh, purpley. It's just a straight on blue, almost like a cobalt, but not quite as dark. So here is my card that I've done with the Blueberry Bushel. Hey, Terry Lou. Good afternoon from the Lou, all right. And then um, one of, call me Clover. Again, these are almost like, pri these are like Crayola colors. Don't they kind of remind you of your crayons when you were growing up? I think they're just beautiful. Very clear, strong primary color type um, look. And I decided to take the, those colors and team them up with these flowering foils to see what I could do. So there is Call Me Clover. And last but not least, I have um, here we go. Lovely Lipstick. Now I am out of ribbon on this one, so this one is a little bit bare, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. So. The cool thing is every one of these looks a little bit different with the papers. So there's the lovely lipstick again. There's the Call Me Clover. Look how that really pulls out the, the, um, the copper. And then here we have the, um, ay, 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 what's it called? Blueberry Bushel. Blueberry Bushel. And then we have Grapefruit Grove. And then we have Pineapple Punch. I'm a yellow fan, so Pineapple Punch. I will say that Pineapple Punch to me normally is best used in small doses, but I think that it really comes to life on this paper, and this reminds me of the Yellow Rose of Texas. So that's one of the reasons I chose this particular design to do with the yellow. Now, believe it or not, I am going to attempt to make these cards with you really fast, five cards in, let's see, about 20 minutes. Let's see if I can do it. I've got some handy san hand sanitizer here. Not because my, my surface is not already clean. It is. But I'm going to end up getting a fair bit of ink on my hands. That's just the nature of um, sponging. What I do have is this will end up getting really, really full of ink, and I don't want ink colors to transfer from one to the next, so I've just got some little um, scraps of copy paper, and what I decided to do to further help me have success with my five in color cards is I am going to... Um, what was I going to do? <laughs> Let me see if I can remember. Um, I'll get my bone folder. Um, something else I was going to do. It'll come to me. 
So the, this is, I just using thick whisper white and um, I do like the thick when you're doing a card base because then it's really nice and heavy. And then, oh, I know, I was gonna tell you, I usually will take a little piece of cardstock and staple it to my sponge so that it's really easy to tell them apart. And all you're gonna do with this, these are all cuts of four by three and four by two. Now look at how that comes to life and look how fast it comes to life. Now you can add more or less. So if I use a light hand here, you see how it comes out really light, but I really like that bold. I like the boldness of this um, pineapple punch. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to just go over that rose even more to make it really, really stand out. And then here's going to be my companion piece. What I did when I was choosing these, and really you can just mix and match. They all look really good together. When I was choosing these, what I did was to mix the patterns effectively was if I had a pattern that had... Um, a mixture of copper and silver, then I picked up with the second piece, either the copper or the silver, um, so that you could pick one, you, you could pick one color that was going to kind of stand out more. Now, the other thing that you want to do with this is um, the foiling resists the ink, but it doesn't um, completely, um, some of that ink will stay on top of the foil. It absorbs into the white paper, but you see how that will come just a little bit comes up. And this will help not only keep from transferring it to your hands, but it also makes the foiling really stand out because instead of having that yellow ink on it now, it's just totally clear. So this is ready to go and I'm going to do like this. Now, I will tell you that I put the greeting in the same color on all of them, except for this one. Hey, Susan, I'm glad you're here. Well, Paulina's here too. Oh, good, good. Um, what I did was I used a light, a slightly darker color for the greeting on this one because the pineapple punch on the Whisper White in these kind of the, the letters I'm using, um, it's kind of a fine font and you couldn't really see it that well. So what I'm doing is here, now you see I'm already transferring ink, that's not good. So let's get my hands cleaned up a little bit here because there's a lot of white cardstock and I don't want, um, I don't want to be transferring ink onto it. Let me flip that over. There we go. Now let me show you the stamp set I'm using for this is called Peaceful Moments. Great stamp set um, that is in our spring catalog, which is called the January to June mini catalog. And I just wanted to do a set of cards with this one right here, thinking of you with all my heart. To me, that is so appropriate right now. So that is what I'm going to do on all of these. And again, when you're doing a set of cards um, quickly and easily, you just want to make it happen. You know, you, you don't want to get too fussy and get all kinds of different designs going and everything. You'll never get done. So right now, I feel like um, that time is of the essence, and I need to get as many cards out the door as I can. And I usually use snail on these with you guys on camera, but honestly, when you're doing this foiling paper, I do find this is easier to use a little bit quicker. I use this for a lot of different things, um, but a lot of times, on camera, it's just easier to use my snail. It is it is the one I go to the most often, but this is my second, and then I'm just going to mush that in, and then I'm gonna pop that right there and grab a couple of dimensionals to put on the back. Now you can see how you could easily grab your grandkids or um, if you're seeing them, um, I, I was with some stampers last week and grandmothers were watching grandkids so the parents could go to work. Now, you may be in that boat where you're helping 
watch grandkids so that parents can go to work. Or you may be in a situation where you're not seeing your grandkids at all and you're kind of going through withdrawal. And in that sense, these also would make great card kits to send to your kids. They're lightweight. Again, these are four by two. This is a four by three cut and a four by two cut. So, you know, take the designer papers you have or get some of this flowering foils paper. It is available while supplies last at the end of the month free with a $50 order. And I just think it's magnificent. So there is my pineapple punch card. Moving right along, here we go, and we're going to move into Grapefruit Grove, and let's just get this done first, and you'll see how different colors kind of, um, I think, stand out better depending on the color of um, foiling that's underneath. Um, I really love all the copper in this one, and so I specifically wanted to make sure that I was going to use a Grapefruit Grove ink on this because that is orange, and it's going to really pick up the oranges in this copper paper. So again, you know, you could kind of go light and dark, but I'm kind of just filling these in pretty dark and really going for the boldness of these end colors. These end colors are really bright and they are going to be going away at the end of May. Having said that, if you've been around Stampin' Up! for any length of time, they will start selling out as we get near the end of the catalog period. So this is the time to get your ink refills. This is the time to get these pads. Um, I think the full set of ink pads is, what, $35? Something like that. So if you got all five of these, um, you could get, you know, a pack of cardstock and maybe a ribbon or something, and you'd have your $50 order ready to go for your um, getting your free flowering foils paper. This is just gorgeous. And you know, even though this orange, I typically like more with your coppers and your warm metals. Look at how pretty it looks with just this silver. I think it's just beautiful. So now I'm going to get rid of that sponge and I still need to do my greeting. I'm just gonna flip this over. Hey, Eileen, I'm glad you're here. Let me get another piece of white, um, what do you call it, scrap paper. 3375. 3375 if you were to get all five ink pads. So there you go, you're on your way to getting your full $50 order and being able to make these cards quickly and easily. The only other thing I'm using is white cardstock. So, you know, any kind of a greeting stamp would work. I guess I need to, you know what I didn't get was a stamp cleaner. Yes, I need. This would be a great thing to put on that order. This is a Simply Chamois, and it is $8, and it is a phenomenal way to clean your stamps. So that is there. Stamp, close, and punch. And that is going to go on my card front. Thinking of you with all my heart, you know? I'm thinking of you guys with all my heart as I'm stamping. You know, one of the reasons I came on to do an extra Facebook Live this week is because I know a lot of us need some positive distraction. There's a lot of just negativity in the news right now. Um, I will say one of the little exercises we did with my team earlier this week was I asked them, can you name one thing that you're finding that you like right now in the midst of, you know, kind of this major pause that has been enforced upon the whole world? What is something that you're enjoying? What is there something you're liking about all of the limitations on our lives right now? So I would love for you to just weigh in here. Um, I know for me, I'm loving the quiet. Um, it just seems like the whole world is quiet right now. And um, 
everywhere you go, even when you go like to HEB or something, there's no kids screaming or anything. I mean, people are like glad to be alive. And um, I think there's a soberness in our world right now where people are kind of taking stock of things and being grateful for things that maybe we didn't even think about uh, a few weeks ago. So um, tell me what you're thankful for. What is it about our current situation that you're finding to be a silver lining? What is it that is kind of touching you and making your heart happy in the midst of some real challenge? Somebody's going to weigh in on it. I know. Let me refresh my thing up here so I can see what you guys are saying. I don't want to miss what people are saying. Hmm. This gets dangerous when I start messing with my computer while I'm trying to stamp. <laughs> okay, so here's my little bow. And these, notice, you know, if you're kind of new to Stampin' Up! and to stamping in general, notice that I have ink and I have a ribbon that's exactly the same color. And that is one of the hallmarks of Stampin' Up! is having products that perfectly coordinate, not only with regard to color, but also with regard to design. So just a sweet little simple bow. That is, people are keeping in touch more with each other. Exactly. I love that, Gail. Uh, we are, I think we're being much more meaning, uh, much more intentional with reaching out and, and staying in touch with people. So there's my quick and easy card. So there's number two down. Now look at my little thing here. I know that um, Paulina's on here. She gave me this little pot. So that way I can keep my glue in there without the lid on while I'm working. Isn't that nifty? Another little, and let's see, happy to be healthy, have food, and many crafts. Exactly. Some of us who have these craft stashes, man, we're not, uh, we're, nobody, nobody around here is bored. We're, we're just enjoying uh, our crafting, not enjoying what's happening in the world, but we're enjoying some extra time to be crafting. So here we go with blueberry bushel. I do like blue and silver, so I wanted to make sure when I did this one that my large piece had the silver in it. And let's see where my, I have this all organized. And then I started showing and telling, and I got all discombobulated. Okay, now look what happens here. I mean, does that not just transform that paper? Look how pretty. Look how pretty the blues are. This almost, when you, um, I think that when you sponge it like this, it almost has a look of blue denim. The cardstock itself is, is deeper than this and almost has a look of, um, of cobalt blue. But here, when you're, when you're inking it, it doesn't get quite as deep as the cardstock. I know I'm just kind of shaking the camera for you guys, which I don't mean to do. Don't want to make you seasick. Um, but look how pretty that blue is. I love it. And you can just keep adding more and getting it darker. And then we're going to do the same thing to my little... This is your favorite of the five, Gail, the, the um, blueberry bushel. It is lovely. Like I said, it's a really... All of these are real clear colors. Um... Except the orange. Now, Grapefruit Grove is much more of a peachy. It's not a, um, it's not like a classic orange. I think pumpkin pie is more of that. But um, these are all the Call Me Clover, the Blueberry Bushel. Uh, and Lovely Lipstick is a pinky red. It's a, it's a pretty clear red. Um, so there we go. Now, I am going to take my tissue. I think I forgot to do this on my Grapefruit Grove cards. Look how that's coming up. And that causes those foils to really, really, see how they're a little bit kind of blue here? But when I take this, then the silver becomes silver again, and the blue stays on the white, and it really comes to life so that it's all shiny. Now, let me do a little tag for that. 
So you can see how this can come together very, very quickly for you. Again, my dimensions for my designer paper are four by two and two by four, super easy. And I'm just putting that on a standard card base, which is a half sheet of cardstock. Now, I am going to do a little of this here because I don't want to transfer that blue ink to whatever I'm doing with this white cardstock. And I'm going to put this away so that I don't accidentally lay my cardstock down into it. And I'm going to get rid of this because I don't want that to transfer to my Whisper White cardstock. So here's my card base right here. And you see how by putting that um, hand sanitizer on my hands kind of does double duty right now in the sense that we're trying to be extra, extra cautious with our um, washing hands, but it also is going to make sure that I don't end up transferring ink with my hands inadvertently. So that is gonna pop right there. And here is my four by three piece. There. And then I'm going to, anybody else have something that they're grateful for in the midst of all of the coronavirus, something that they're noticing? Um, we live fairly near the airport, and so I'm used to hearing planes overhead and um, yeah we're not very many planes going right now and uh, nobody's really playing loud music or you know it's just see it's been great also to see I see a lot of kids playing in the street in my neighborhood usually they're inside so I like that so there's this one I do need to pop in there a little piece of I think the ribbon just kind of dresses it up if you happen to have it um, if you don't, it's okay. Hey, Jean, I'm glad you're here. So here is my blueberry bushel ribbon, just a sweet, simple little bow, nothing fancy. And so this will mail for a single stamp, easy peasy. So whether you're making these with, um, Terry Lynn, I have nearly all of my ironing done. And you iron everything. I love it. Except your panties. You know, that is great. Um, really grateful you're able to be home for your granddaughter, Jeanette. I love that. And that homeschooling. I think that a lot of parents are discovering homeschooling has its challenges, but yeah, not as bad as what you might have thought. So that's good. True story, Terry Lynn, I'll tell you. Here I am on live TV. But um, you know, when, when we first moved to England, um, we stayed with a family um, in our church, and it was an older couple, and I say older, they were like about the age of our parents, and we were young 30s at, at the time, early 30s, and had two very young children, and um, we were learning the ways of life in a foreign country, and um, the lady of the house, she's passed away now, her name was Ivy, she literally did um, iron everything, Terry, and um, so she was doing our laundry for us, and she really did. She ironed the undershirt, she ironed the underwear, she ironed everything. Now, I thought it was a little over the top at first, and then I realized part of the reason was she was trying to get it dry. It was the climate was so damp. It was very difficult to get things dry, but I will tell you, my husband loved having everything ironed, absolutely everything. And Jeanette, that is a great point. We're not striving for perfection nearly as much. We're a lot more uh, prone to say it's okay. We're just, again, I think we're so grateful to be alive and um, that we are not striving for perfection in our homes or with other people. I think people are all a little bit more shall I say forgiving, a little bit more tolerant of one another, maybe even a little bit more considerate. Um, okay, so Terry Lynn, you, you know the drill. If your mom ironed the boxers, yeah, you, you get it. Okay, here's my green. So here we go, call me Clover. Now watch how this is going to just bring this to life. 
I got to get these last two done because I got a, another Facebook Live meeting that I'm part of. I'm not actually teaching on that one, but it's a training. You know, my team um, is the Southern Sweet Stampers. Absolutely love them. Several of my team are on here right now. Absolutely love them. And um, we, our team has um, teamed up with uh, a couple of other leaders. So um, I'll probably end up going around the, around the mulberry bush with telling this little story. It's not really a story, but kind of telling you about this. So um, probably about five years ago, Jen Pitta and I, she is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator on Cape Cod. And we've been accountability business partners for a number of years, and we decided to pool our resources and do team training with each other, with each other's teams. And so we invited both our teams into a separate group called Stamp Build Grow, and we would tag team. And so one week she would do training, and the next week I would do training. Well, then last year we expanded that, and we invited in Kim Vogel, who is a demonstrator up in Michigan, and uh, Wendy Cranford, who is a demonstrator in California, and we're all for, you know, we're all for um, top achiever demonstrators. We're all for working our business at a career level, and um, so, and we're all coming from the same place philosophically as far as business goes, and so we do. Um, and Kathy, you're on Wendy's team, isn't that? Le so we, yeah, we've got a lo lot of uh, folks here that are team members. So Stamp Bill Grow is happening. Um, in just about 20 minutes. So I got to get these finished. And when I put on this extra Facebook Live, I just didn't even realize that it was going to coincide with Stamp Bill Grow. But Stamp Bill Grow training starts at um, 3 o'clock our time today. And yes, if you are on here and you are not yet part of a demonstrator team, I invite you to join us we're a happy bunch. We are creative and we are positive. And uh, we really support each other and strengthen each other and befriend one another. And I know that it's been a great source of encouragement and comfort all year long, but especially, I think, during all of this. During all of this pandemic. At least, yeah, I don't have anywhere else to be. Exactly, exactly, Jeanette. I, it's not like I'd be fly, I'm flying out the door to some other appointment. I did go to physical therapy yesterday. I'm still doing that. Um, it's, a, it's a medical thing, so, you know, they're still open. And I'm very grateful because I'm making a lot of progress, and I didn't want to lose my momentum. So, thankfully... I was still able to get to physical therapy yesterday, and my physical therapy is super close to my grocery store, so that usually ends up being um, going doing those things at the same time. Now, I've got to get some hand sanitizer on my hands because I'm afraid I'm going to end up getting that on that pretty Whisper White cardstock, and it would really, really mar it. Here we go. Yes, Terry Lynn, you are right. They are, you know, our demonstrator teams, we end up making really strong friendships with each other with people we probably would not have been friends with otherwise. Our paths just maybe wouldn't have crossed. Not because they're not people we would love anyway, but because our paths just wouldn't cross. And I think stamping has a really powerful way of connecting people that wouldn't otherwise connect. And it's really an amazing thing. So we do have a... Starter kit special. Our starter kit is always a great deal because it's $99 plus tax. And you choose anything you want for $125. But right now, because we're in celebration, you get some extra goodies. And um, those extra goodies kind of run the gamut from um, a pack of 6 by 6 designer series paper, 48 sheets of it um, for free. It also includes that cute, cute mini, ch I call it a chopper. It's a little paper trimmer and I absolutely love it. Um, it's not only super cute, but it's very useful. And I might be able to put my hand to mine really quick here. Let me put some, 
Oh, Paulina, your medical appointments have been canceled. That's a little, yeah. I, I know several people who are awaiting surgery, and those surgeries have just been put on hold right now. Um, I, yeah, I called my physical therapy to see if they were still seeing patients, and they are. And so, you know, everything is, it's always clean in there anyway, but it's extra sanitized right now. So there's my fourth one, two, three, four cards done. Just while I've been on here, I got one more. Let's see if I can crank it out. Crank it out with lovely lipstick. And of course, wouldn't you know, I chose this paper with that gorgeous rose to do with the lovely lipstick. So here's my little sponge. Let's see how fast I can do it. And just as a reminder, um, I will put the um, button for the, um, what's it called? Timeless Tulips class. I will get that up and running in the next hour or so, and I will post it here on my Sweet Stamper Facebook page. Now you see this one, you can really, really tell, I think, that when you start applying the ink, um, to the foil. It really dulls the foil, but let me show you how we're going to fix that. Oh, I got two. I wonder, I couldn't find that one. Susan, I'm glad you like these. You know, I think what's great about this is a kid can do this. Um, this is great for a brand new stamper who's never done any stamping. Um, it's almost like finger painting, not quite that messy. <laughs> um, Jeanette, I'm glad you like the cards, and thank you for visiting with us. Now, watch what's going to happen here. When I do a little burn, a little, see how much that comes off? And it's not coming off the paper. It's coming off the foil. So now when I lift that foil, it really So it removes the ink from the foil and leaves it on the paper. So that is ready to go, and... All I need now is one more little tag. Now I don't, I will say I don't have any um, lovely lipstick ribbon left. I've used it all. So what I was actually gonna do, if I have time, I think I do, is show you another little quick and easy thing that we can do here. Let me grab my favorite, this is the white, um, this is the white linen thread, and I'm gonna pull a couple of them off of here, and I'm gonna just do a simple little double bow. I rarely make a single bow. I like fat bows. So there, and what I'm gonna do, get it kind of the way I want it, kind of a small bow, trim the ends, then I'm going to take my ink like so. Now this works really, really well with ribbon, but you know what? You can do it with twine as well. So if you're wanting to have a bow that matches and you've run out of ribbon and you don't have any, whoopsie, sorry, white ribbon handy, well, just use your twine and put some ink on it. And actually, you know, when I, you, when I don't ink it up heavily and leave some of the white, it almost looks like those little red and white carnations. You know how they have that stripe to them? Looks a little bit like that. So now I'm going to need some hand sanitizer so I don't get that. Oh, that's, <laughs> that is not hand sanitizer. Um, where'd it go? It's that other little tiny bottle. Here we go. So this is going to go on my hands like so and you know Jeanette you're right you said it's nice to visit with us I think that this means more than ever that we can get on here and visit with each other and just kind of hang out and talk and count our blessings and think about what's happening in our world in a way that's more positive definitely than what you'll see on the news and see what we can do. And one of the things that we can do is to encourage those around us and just let them know that we care about them, that they're not forgotten, um, that even though we can't see them in person right now, we still care about them. 
And I think that's just a vital thing that we can do right now. Okay, I'm going really quick here. I like the, I do like the roses to be right side up. I don't like roses upside down. Here we go. Last one, five cards. Now, I want you to just notice, because I'm kind of impressed with myself here, that I was a little bit late. I was about five minutes late getting on, as per usual. And I had to tell you about um, the foil paper that I'm using, and I had to tell you about my new class coming up. And I had to tell you about Paper Pumpkin, and I got all five of these cards done while I was talking. <laughs> Here today with you. So there we go. I got a little smudge right there. Now, look at there. A little bit of that twine. What do you think? My dyed twine. My dyed twine. So I am going to put, um, oh, I'm glad you're crafting with me, Terry Lynn. That is awesome. Whoopsie. Hopefully this gives you some ideas, some inspiration for what you can do, super simple layout, five different colors. All of these are the in colors, just a reminder to make sure that you get your in color supplies before they go away. And that um, you also come back so I can show you my class to go. So this is my class to go right here, the timeless tulips. And let me see if I can find that other piece of paper. Probably not. Let's see. Make sure that you go over and get the, what do you call it? The, um, ay, ay, ay. the paper pumpkin refill kit while they're still there. Here's the five in colors. Well, there's four. There's a fifth in color floating around here somewhere. You should see this space when I finish with you guys. You know, it's an absolute wreck. I mean, you know, <laughs> Darlene's laughing over there. Yeah, I am like, um, I am like Pigpen. You know, um, in Charlie Brown, you know Pigpen? That's me right there. Wherever I go, there is this cloud of stuff. Not dust, but I do dust regularly. I do have things tidy, but man, am I messy. Um, Kathy, I'm glad you like the card today. We are ready to hop over and listen to Wendy do some training with us on Stamp Build Grow. Here's what I was looking for right here. If you wanted to place an order in my online store, that's where it is. There's a host code for orders under $150, and there's the item number for No Matter the Weather Refill Kit, which is my, just, it's just adorable. And then something for everything kit, which is a really nice one as well. I couldn't even lay my hand to it because I think I've sent all my cards out already. So that is it for today. Um, I will not see you back here until Tuesday of next week for Tuesday at 2. But I sure thank you for coming and hanging out with me here today. And I know there'll be some that will be catching the replay later. And so um, I hope you're inspired and sending cards, making cards, you know, just the whole act of making a handmade card, it just fills your cup. It makes you feel so good because you've made something really pretty in just a few minutes. It doesn't take all day to do. And um, it doesn't take a ton of supplies. Now, having said that, some of us start collecting supplies once we start making cards because we like lots of creative options. But that's just kind of the, um, that's kind of the artistry of it. But certainly when you start, you can just have a few things. And if you don't want to have, if you don't want to have a huge crafting collection, you don't have to. You can have just a few things and still be able to make some really awesome cards to send to your loved ones. And even, I know some of us are even sending cards to people at nursing homes and um, troops and all kinds of people, even those that we don't know well. So thanks again for coming here today. Take care and God bless.